Hi Libra, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Now, oh, let me see, you have Mars to, um, is it, let, no, hold on, Mars in Libra. So you have Mars in Libra at the moment till uh, November the 19th and also there's another one, uh, I think, no, just Mars. Okay, <laughs> Mars is about, um, and I've done a video about this, Mars, uh, the masculine. Um, there's a book, Men are from Mars, Women from Venus. So the Mars is to do with, but it's more so, so t take this as this resonates with you or your person. So there's a Mars is the tower. So there's a tower moment going on with your person or you, um, and Mars is aggression, sex, action, desire, competition, courage, passion. That's why, you know, the passion is, is, is connected with the masculine, but energies float around. I'm picking up the pre-meditation energy between you and your person. So it could, be, I'm thinking it's more to do with both of you, to be honest with you. So tower moments go on, going on um, at the moment. Uh, also, I'm picking up that you might be your third eye is opening obviously you might not be knowing this but if you're doing the work correctly and the work is removing negativity i'm just going to make that clear doing chakras alone doing um meditation alone doing affirmations alone doing praying to god alone going to chapels with godly uh, you know that alone when i say alone i mean singular or com combination of Anything that's external is temporary if works at all. I'm going to make that clear. Um, if other people state that they do it and it works, that's them. You go to their channel and you see if they get you with union. I'm stating what I channel and in union myself that if it works, it's temporary. It's a tool. That's what I will say. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying that. So when I'm saying that the intuition and the third eye is opening, that is for people that are doing the actual inner work. Paying someone and listening, anything that you've, you've purchased or done external, internal work. Now, I know you have to, well, listening to a chakra or putting needles in your acupuncture or stating at, um uh, words words are matter so it does matter because matter is quantum physics and energy but literally going in and, and tapping into your imagination and uh, and changing forms instead of just stating changing forms is the work so third eye is opening for people that are actually doing the work um you could actually be doing it on a subconscious but i won't go into that because that's deep so there's some people that their intuition is heightened at the moment. Um, and it's more so to do with a little bit on your person, more so to do with mission. So if you're in a job, you your intuition could be heightened or you, you know, if it's tarot, you might be channeling a little bit more stuff like that that's happening. Um, and this is because you've kind of could have had a situation with your person or felt something with your person or something because intuition is in insight insight so something might have happened insight um <clears throat> that's uh, made you think about something with your person that is a negative something here so that negative from that intuition is um heightened you and this is all I, co I connect with um, ether and energy. So you wouldn't know this is happening. So I, I, I'm stating what's happening in the ethers. So, but this is, um, <clears throat> if you carry on doing what you're doing in work, let's say from what's going on in the ethers, this is becoming victorious towards you. And that will eventually make you put up standards. I'll give you a kind of shortcut code of what I've just said there to see if it resonates. Say you had a dream. Actually, uh, uh, this is Libra, Amber. I'll get back to you about um, your email. <coughs> Sorry. 
that, that I've just remembered dream. So you had a dream about your person which was negative because this is about intuition. Intuition is imagination. Imagination is dreams. OK, so it's connected that way. You could have had a vision. Um, you could have daydreamed or, or all of that is imagination, thought, form, something like that. Thinking something negative popped up about your person. So what's happening is your third eye is opening to the realms to make you place your standards. That's the kind of thing that's happening at the moment. So that's the answer to your question, actually, Amber, if you're listening. Hopefully you got that. That's what's going on here. If some of you had that. And this is becoming victorious because of what's happening before is you're not placing standards with your person. Um, if you want to know more about standards, I think I've got a video in my playlist about how to place standards. But if you don't know, once you work on yourself, this is what happens. This is all ether work happening at the moment because you're someone here, such as Amber. Amber's, oh gosh. <laughs> Amber England, I think you put that in YouTube and you can see her channel, Tarot's of the Twin Flame is her ending, I can't say the beginning <laughs> of her name, but she's a channel, she's brilliant, um, She um, a YouTube channel with Twin Flame and she does cards, please go watch her, anyway, and she's a Libra and all of her family's Libra, <laughs> my point, get back on track, if you're doing the work like Amber, that's why I mention her a lot, um, and she does videos stating how she's getting on. So that's why I know she's doing the work. Um, then what will happen is this happens in the ethers, you see. So some of you are just starting to do the work or going to do the work or something like that. And this is what this reading is also the suggestion to do to push things forward. If you do the work, you don't literally have to go into my playlist and start placing boundaries because they do things that make you place boundaries anyway. Like I said, that intuition, thought form that's come up about the negative situation of your person, if that's happened, right, is to you subconsciously upstairs putting standards in for you, for you to pull back. Um, this is about working, your person's over there working hard on them, themselves, um, you understanding that as well, or well, they're just over there doing their thing, you know, that kind of thing, and um, you kind of, I would say, not turning your back on it, but this, oh, it's, a, it's really hard to describe, because of, once again, this is thought form, this is ethers, to me, this is like when you're getting heartbreak, heartbreak from what they're doing because they're just over there working hard at their twin flame role. I'm just making that clear because what you've done here, you've progressed on the journey without actually communicating and contacting, doing anything or with your person because you're knowing they're over there doing their thing. So what's happened, you're stopping this three of swords heartbreak as well because you're kind of turning your back on them by placing the standards like i said you don't literally have to go in my playlist and do bit by bit by bit removing the negativity gives them the nod for them to put things within you that triggers you to do it on the automatic this is what's going on here i know it's a bit deep but i can't help what i'm picking up and i channel from 5d and i get the ethers and i see energy that's what's going on for some of you. If that's not going on, let's see what's going on here. But um, with the cards, but generally they're connected to the, to that kind of reading. If it's not you, it's a suggestion. So the cards will help you to get to that place to move forward. But the first suggestion is to do the work. <laughs> so let's see what's going on with. Um, so in short, you're pushing things forward by doing the inner work without actually connecting with your person hence i always say no words needed because you remove the, the negativity this is happening that's all you have to do you didn't have to i guarantee you didn't have a conversation about your person and you're 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 automatically putting up standards from a negative form of thought that's come through but anyway let's get into the reading Well, three. Uh, 
over here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see them on my setup. I is a joke. Oh my gosh, it's tight. This is my corner. Literally, I had I had my room. I've got my nephew in there now. So this is my space now. <laughs> anyway, so the first card is, so I can't angle it any different. Um, four of Pentacles. So this is the uh, juggling your person back and forth, back and forth. Um, this is a lot of juggling, actually, because of, um, but he's leaning. To, oh, OK. See, I said there's a f energy of your person just over there working towards their money, sorting themselves out is what they're saying. They're working hard to sort themselves out over there because this person's lean towards the pentacles, you see. Could do drugs for a certain amount of you with the, well, drugs drink, I'd say, well, you know, with the grapes here, alcohol here. They normal, that normally they dabble in some kind of drug or addiction or something. It's because of um, their scenario over there to numb it out and all this kind of thing. But this is... Um, it's like you is here, look, guidance is you to understand the two of pentacles, why this juggling is happening and why they lean towards the eight of, say, pentacles working hard over there to get their kind of foundation. But this, like I said, you might feel, well, you know, I've this four of pentacles is generally um, holding back, stuck. They're not expressing anything, but this is building a foundation, actually, with a four wands here, by you tapping into your rooted belief systems, which I said in the pre-meditation here at the beginning, is building the foundation. But I stated the suggestion is you do the inner work because they connect with upstairs, you see. I don't know how else I can sell it because of I... When I do an image reading, I, I see you inside, you, true you. I, how can I sell that? How can I sell talking about what I've just said at the beginning here? I can't. All you have to do is trust me, you see, and follow someone. And suggestions also, and I've said this in a lot of my readings this week, follow someone who is what you want, not who my character. I had a woman ask for a refund because she didn't like my character. Although she's like, I, I, I want a refund because I feel that you're too harsh, whatnots. You know, you're not the right twin flame to guide me. Yeah, she lucky she didn't get fuck off, to be honest with you. I held back. My point is I have 866 videos for you to see the character before investing. And my character is fuck all to do with my truth. The truth is I see energy. The truth is I can read you inside you. The truth is I'm with my person. The truth is I'm in union. The truth is I'm in mission. You follow what I am and what I can help you to do, not my character. So good luck with that person. Do you know what I mean? But my point is you have to do that. To get to a solid foundation, you have to listen to someone. It's very important that does what you want it's no point listening to a, a murderer you know that that's common sense because of you know you'd be talking about how to murder someone you wouldn't do that so why would you listen to anyone who just opens up a channel and says they're a tower reader if they're not with their person they're not doing the steps like amber which i state here like myself like a, a melanie um and uh, other twin flames to get into union if they're not with their person and there's a difference between actually that you have to use your wisdom, the ones with the wisdoms as well, when they're saying they're with their person. Are they showing up on their channel and stuff like that? Or are they just saying they're with their person? I can go down the street, bump into David and say, yeah, I met my person today. Do the dots. Did they say something? Is there actual evidence? Are they progressing? Are they talking like Amber? Uh, England on her channel I'm doing the work like Erica Eastpot this is important and I don't normally I'm channeling so this is what you need to be doing stop looking at my character my character is blunt in your ass for you not to judge 
not to judge me, not to judge out to that person who, who said she wanted her money back because of my character. There is no one else she can go to who can give her more than what I can. But because she was judgmental, she lost that. Good luck with her. Probably going to be ended up coming back and watching in the background. So anyway, so this, like I said, one, 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 one. And it's interesting because this is in the ether. That's a very important. That's why I spit it out 15 minutes in about watching tarot and all this, that uh, listening to people that's important because I channel a visual clairvoyant. I'm not really necessarily doing the cards. So this one, 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 one is giving you your ace of cups, your happy new beginning. But this is all in the ethers. To follow a good tarot reader, the the um, intention of tarot is to push you on to knowing yourself, your true self, hence the rooted belief system, the inner work, right, with the trees here. That's connected with Kabbalah as well. Now, if you have someone like me, and the, what I've said so far resonates with you, but nothing's happening with your person, you'll be just getting on with your day and thinking nothing is happening. Then you get a good tower reader who's channeling, who's from 5D or whatever, you know. Then you think, oh, shit, actually, I'm moving forward. That is the purpose, so you get on and keep on doing the work. If not, for example, the premeditation, you might think, oh, my gosh, you know, why am I having... Um, uh, a, a thought form which is negative about my person maybe he's negative then you go on another tower reader he's a fucking idiot he's over there in a third party situation he's ignoring you do you see what i mean it's very important you listen to tower readers that resonate and that like i said stop listening to how blatant and blunt i am i've said this in most of my readings this week just watch what i know I, I know Simon Cow. I don't personally know him, and he's UK and America, so most of them should know Simon Cow. Now, I know he's a dickhead. I personally, I can feel that energy. He's blunt, he's rude, but there's enough work needs to be done. I might even go in that. Yeah, that's why I don't watch telly as well, because I can pull out anyone. My point is that he's a millionaire, billionaire, whatever. Study him if you want millions. Does it matter? He's a fucking idiot. Do you know what I mean? People can call me a fucking idiot, can call me blunt, can call me whatever. But I am what you want. In mission, union of self and union with person. That's what most want. That's what you, this is what I am a twin flame for. So you know how to go about and progress. So you get your one, 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 one. You manifest your foundation. You're emotionally invested in your person, regardless if he show if your person is showing up like this because this is what's going on in this reading so what's happening is they're cut it's, it's it's not really a test but it's like a test because like i said some of you could be working on yourself and it's like let's see if she'll still progress right so they give you a test because of like um are we still showing up not um emotionally invested pulling back but look how the, the bird is bigger than the person, meaning it's your twin flame. That's what you focus on. Whatever you think about, it's your twin flame. That's all you focus on. That's what you could, it'll still be showing up focus. But here in the ether, the first two cards is don't watch that. What your person shows up like, right? Emotionally not invested, not there, not around, no communication, whatever it is. You do the inner work in the ethers you're creating, you're manifesting with the 1111, twin flame 1111 with the 1111 in the background, which is manifestation, because 1111 is all the alchemical elements which the magician cards have, hold, sorry, not have, magician card has all the alchemical elements, which he is the enlightened one. This is the journey of the twin flame to enlighten. Hence, I said, don't be dumb and go with stupid ass tower readers, which is not working. It's not working. That's all you've got to do is go on the channel. Does it make sense? And does it work? It's not hard. Wands are the highest alchemical element. So use your heightened intuition and wisdom to know if another tower reader is it working. Are they with the person? Are they in union? Blah, blah, blah. You do the dots. Underneath this, your person 
is uh, working hard at what they're doing over there, right? The change is happening underneath, underneath. Your person always feels you there, but look, he's feeling you. And this person, actually, I'm getting pulled on these heartstrings there. That's why I never cuss your person. Is, is there something's happened then. What's happened? I wonder. Let me finish and see. Because our feeling is sad. So he could just literally be missing you at the moment. It's like you're moving forward and he's feeling you moving forward. They feel you as well. I don't care. You lot focus on the words. They feel you. I'm feeling this. If you're feeling like, yeah, okay, I'm more into my work now. Or, I'm, okay, he's over there. I'm just going to get on my thing. They're feeling that. And that's what's pushing it. That's what I'm, like I said, I can't explain what I pick up. But if it's resonating, just you need someone like me. I don't care if it sounds vain. That can tell you what's going on with your person and yourself. If it's resonating, your person is here feeling you. And I'm just feeling this person is sad at the moment. So I don't know what's happening. <laughs> He's trying to balance out this working up this third party situation whatever that is right and let me let me see if i can pull into what's happened are oh, they just saying it's different to all of you i don't i can't really you know pacific be pacific because of it is it, it, it's, it, it's different for your person and different for you so that's what they're saying so I can't really pinpoint that situation underneath it. But yeah, there's a sadness there. So let's see if it comes up underneath the Ace of Cups, which is you going within, being the high priestess and um, also accepting your person. What the small things that he comes up with or shows up with, please, if you're new, watch the page of cups in my Twin Flame um, listing of Twin Flame Tarot is you now the empress now i read it differently now uh depend on the reading for uh, for it to be underneath the ace of cups to me this is you and from the energy that i'm pulling in from you and your person is that um you're actually becoming change here the empress is all the um and it's interesting because you're manifesting she is all of the queens Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, you know, all that. She is a combination of all of the queens. So when I go on to my soulmate in the new year, I'm hoping, but who knows, because of, you know, who knows. But I'm hoping to tap into to um, the soulmates as well, because we are here to teach the soulmates. I, I am a teacher. I'm specifically here to be hardcore because I am the teacher of the teachers. But my mission also is to teach soulmates because if I'm singular in, you know, and I'm not here to judge, although many judge me, I'm not here to judge, you see. So when I go to the soulmates, because uh, I normally state the emperors were not the emperor, the emperors were not. But that is the twin flames with the higher priestess and the hierophant regarding a soulmate situation. So there's a transformation out of the soulmate here into because of the empress in the soulmate situation is it incorporate incorporating is that the word i don't know a collection of all the queens so there's like an uh an upgrade going on at the moment let's say and um, look this card loving yourself going within loving yourself it doesn't mean you go in you close your eyes and you i love myself i love myself it's no if you don't know how to do it, hence I created a program where you know how to start loving yourself. But this is shielding your heart. This is the standards that you're subconsciously in the ethers creating and then making it clear. Them lot channeled 5D. This is what's going on if you're working on yourself, loving yourself. You're creating standards without actuality of doing it is what they're saying. What's going on here. And can you see the stars here? Star seeds. This is you being stubborn, but stubborn in the fact of you will be, uh, this is so, is what they're saying. This is so. So there's a massive change that's happening and you don't even know it. <laughs> Put it that way. All you have to do is do the work. I keep stating on my channel, I know my shit. I know quantum physics. I know um, Kabbalah. 
I know uh, 5D because I channel on there, so I don't really know it. And I'm ascending all the time. In fact, I've got download saying I'm um, I'm going to be, yeah, reading through people. I might do a video about that Saturday, actually. Anyway, yeah, uh, uh, which is because I, I said I'm ascending to the 8 and the 9. Is it the 6? I don't know. So they told me what I'm doing. My point is you need to be focused on people that is going to help you to progress in your journey and you are progressing by focusing on yourself which is in essence is loving yourself and it's because you're kind of loving yourself but looking over your shoulder for your person in this card i know it's dark and like i said i apologize for my setup but at least you're getting the reading right she's kind of looking here she's focusing she's turning into these are feathers and stars into the star seed here right holding on to her person but still move she's facing forward she's moving forward but you know shielding her heart moving forward <clears throat> and your person's feeling that because this card is it is um sad to me this could be like i did i say i think i said this could be um something to do with addictions or something like that i think i said it because of this looks like loads of weed <laughs> You see, so your person could be um, sh holding back um, at this time and working on their money, or the, and and their money is going on or their their on their addiction and trying to fix up their home. This is what's going on here. So fixing up their home and their addiction. So use your guidance. Ace of Pentacles. I know it's the Ace of Pentacles. Most wouldn't say that, but it's underneath your person. That's what's going on with your person at the moment. Trying to sort their home. Like I said, leaning towards the Pentacles. Le he's leaning here. So that's what his main focus is. It doesn't mean that they don't care about you. It doesn't mean they don't care about the children. They care about all of you. And they think how they can provide that is by focusing on a good foundation and having their monies up that's the masculine way so that's what's going on so in essence that is thinking about you if i had a, 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 a house and a good job then i could go for my person that changes don't watch that when you work on yourself just like i said the ethers how you're making this foundation and you're manifesting a new emotional start you would think by with your literal eyes that ain't happening because that's how your person is over there but this is happening this is the ace of cups you see this is happening because you're going within something's blossoming here because you're only accepting the little the little is your person not emotionally invested because he is focused on the pentacles and smoking drugs or whatever i'm not saying that i i'm uh, uh, with drugs or not drugs i'm just saying what's going on in the cards the three, the underlying factor, you're going towards your Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is alignment, one line. So you go within, you emotionally invest, you heal. This is inner work, in short. Then you Eight of Cups here. In Eight of Cups is in the sky. So you give it up to them, which pushes you forward by going within and doing the inner work. Or you just walk away. That's what the Eight of Cups is. So that the choice is yours. You do the inner work, you remove the negativity, and you go towards your person. See the hot and the cold. This is this is you, hot stuff, <laughs> right? Loving yourself, green. Spirituality, twin flame, and there's your person over there, third dimensional, blue. World to me is blue, right? So this is all an incorporation of the high priestess. You go within to sort your world. This is your entirety of your world. Then union happens with the rainbow. This is what the twin flame is about. This is um, your person always telling you, go within. He's teaching you, get onto the. So there's a new restart here again. With the eight of cups, that's correct. Eight of cups is generally when you start doing, say, my program, I've got two programs, Twin Flame Program and Program about Inner Healing. Twin Flame Program is all about yourself, what you're supposed to do, right? Knowing yourself, let's just say. It's far more than that, but yes, it's all about what you are, 
all about love, loving yourself. That's twin flame, what the contract is. You need to know that. You can't just say you're a twin flame because how many thousand fucking other twin flame advisors on YouTube just say they're twin flame and get views? You need to know what the twin flame is. The other program, now you do the work, right? So you do the work and then you go within and a restart's happening. The eight of cups, like I said with the this one here, right? The eight of cups, once you start on doing the work, eight times is generally you get aha moments when to push it forward. This is one of those. You're having a tower. Tower moment doesn't have to be bad. It's how your perception of it is. Like I said, if you had something that's happened with the um, at the moment because of heartbreaks here, if something's happened or it's gone and off or something, then it doesn't need to be bad. It's how your perception is. Because of if you're moving on, doing yourself, following your intuition, getting on with mission, doing all that stuff, this is moving forward 100%. It's how you take it, you see. So this is like saying your um, person, feel your person, feel the wands, feel the intuition, the connection with higher consciousness, because this is eight of wands, he's telling you to feel it, by going within. And like I said, new start happening, one of the eight of, one, eight of cups, one of them, uh, thinking how to move on to your path. This is with your person. So there's a... Like I said, and that's what he's probably thinking. I need to get my foundation. I need to get my monies up to get you because he's feeling sad at the moment. So something must have happened. But uh, I don't necessarily say what's happened or because of, like I said, it could be you. It could be your person. They tell me what's the most important thing. But with the with the uh, three of swords here, it's like, uh, yeah, it could have um, some of you could have had an off or something like that could have happened. Um, but. Like I said, it's moving forward and your person's um, thinking about how to move forward onto the correct path, twin flame path, let's say. No, it's not correct. There's no right or wrong on this planet. So let's just say it's a twin flame path. Right, okay. That's Empress twice. That's interesting. And look, tower moments, like I said. This is a tower moment. Some of you had a trigger, uh, uh, insight, a vision or something. That, that doesn't have to be massive because of the tower moment is your foundation crumbling. Whatever's happened with that, even if it's a vision or something, right? Because I said it, the first thing I came into was something's happening in the imagination. Any sort of thorn that's happened is moving your foundation with the one, 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 one forward absolutely here and um and i said um with whatever happening some of you are focused okay my person's over there doing that i'm working on mission let's just say and focused on me that is uh, pushing you forward towards your fortune so it's just clarifying what i said and i said there's a move there's a, a transformation here from the empress into the high priestess because the high priestess has the moon at the top and the bottom. It's kind of like this card I just said. See the shield and everything. That's what's going on. So I don't need to go into that. So this is um, because you're loving oneself. With that card here. That is, is that Venus? That is Venus, isn't it? Hold on. I know what Venus looks like. Why have I forgotten? Let me see if I can show you here. That is Venus. Why have I forgotten? Yeah. This is to do with um because you're loving yourself. You're you're transforming into the high priestess. And it doesn't, like I said, literally mean like other tower readers. Open up your heart chakra, send your person and love. They even talk like that, didn't they? And, and and all this and all that. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with that. If we have 95%, most People on planet Earth have 95% of negativity. You think by lying on the bed, closing your eyes and, and thinking about your heart chakra opening up to your person is going to somehow magically override that 95% of negativity on your subconscious. That is someone who doesn't know quantum physics, laws of the planet, 
Kabbalah tree of life, not channeling from 5D or not with their person, I 100% guarantee. Hence, I stated at the beginning, know who to follow and listen to. So I'm going to end this with um, loving yourself, like I was saying with this card with the Empress. It's just removing negativity, which default upstairs gives you what you want because they know what you want. You, don't, you get a ticket on the car, which is negative, or you get some idiot saying something about you, which is negative, or some, you know, an ex-boyfriend, which was stupid, is negative. You didn't write that down, so you don't have to write down and state affirmations and pray to some God or stuff like that to get things because of you got the ticket and all that without asking for it. So you don't have to ask God for nothing. You don't have to pray for God for nothing. You don't have to ask for affirmations. You don't have to think positive thoughts. You have to remove the program, which is 95%, and you have to remove it. You can't override it. You can't put a program on a program. Hence, television programs. It's programmed you. You have to remove it. When you remove it, you naturally attract your desires. This is what's going on here. But it happens in the ethers because you don't know. You explain what the subconscious looks like. So in the ethers, this is, and but the code word is you're loving yourself, let's just say. really <laughs> my readings are getting long for look I'll, I'll go there always 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 feel your person as a gift i say it on my channel if not you would um see it as if this is a duality you either see it as the seven sneaky shady lies or um, eight of wands communicate with upstairs and feel 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 feeling frequency this planet is feeling frequency feel your person as a gift without david i wouldn't be here not because he sat down and said to me yeah you should do tarot no because i am a twin flame without him i wouldn't be a twin flame that was it that's all i had to focus on not because he comes around and i have an amazing time not because he's amazing to me and all the blah 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 he's a good counselor no without him i wouldn't be doing this and, I, and when you lot get to that point of what where I am, then you'll be like, wow, yeah, I get what you're saying. All I used to do is just feel him. Feel him as a gift or her, it doesn't matter. House. I said they're trying to work on their monies, their pentacles, because they love you. Two of cups to me is mutual love. So something's happened here. Like I said, it could have been an off with the heartbreak here. They're not really talking about that. They want me to explain what's happening because you're going in the right direction more than focusing on the off, let's say. Zero is the fool's card, the new start. And I said, look, that's the, that, that's your, that's the fool card because that's how the fool starts. One foot on the ground, one foot in the ethers. So there's a re restart with your person because you're going within. The top heart is you. This is alignment of one person, this card which is the actual card is Ten of Wands, which is dropping the burdens, you see. And I said, because they feel a oh, mutual love for you, so I have to get my house sorted. I need to live somewhere which is mine. They've always got this, you know, they're with someone or they're, you know, the house is half of their exes or something like that. They always want their own foundation because they love, that's their way, that's the, um, in my soulmate program, yes, I have soulmate programs as well. Um, I talk about the caveman, cave woman, how I talk about it here in the masculine and feminine. I'll just say it differently. The caveman wants to build the foundation. The woman is the nurturer. I have a program about that. That's what's going on here. They want to build their foundation to show you love. That's what's going on here. Uh, drop the expectation. 28 expectation to marry them to look by the church and like i said i feel you why is this look it's 40 minutes bloody heck. look i said i felt sadness despair 
it's, it's like there's a change, but they're not, okay, what's going on? Let me see if I tap in and see what's going on here. Because I felt it with this card, there's a sadness and they're clarifying it. And it's through the, whatever's happened, the off is what they're clarifying. If there's not an off, then they're just feeling. Look, because he's sitting on his foundation. I don't know, it might be just, ah, oh, if there's not an off, or even though this, it's not should be, with the three of swords here, it's their time because of you've turned your back or you're working on your, you literally, if you're just doing your own shit and you're not focused on your person, they feel that. So it could be literally that's what's going on or because of the off. So it's like, um, I'm actually feeling this is turning away from the expectation, to be honest, because when this card comes out, I, I, I normally kick off. What the fuck? Expecting to get married, expecting, but but I'm feeling you're turning away. And because you're turning away, he's feeling you. Do you see what I mean? That's what I'm thinking with that one here. So hopefully this is good for you. If you're new, uh, go to my website and book me. You need to start investing. Now, before you book, there are other options. Please check out the other options because you get tarot. You get tarot with the... Uh, twin flame program obviously that comes hand in hand and then you get twin flame program with the tarot with the inner program program one program two or you get twin flame program with program two and counseling with david when you start working on yourself it's going to trigger you most of you will want to have some sort of counseling i'm fucking hardcore i say all the time i had eight counseling and depression pills when i got into this work the inner work. So you know you. You know you know you. If you go into the work and it's going to trigger you, then book him the very least one session. Or I always will stay if you're not one to talk because I didn't book. Although he's my person, I wouldn't do counselling on the phone. It's not my thing. So that's why Erica Eastbot, you can email. She does email support for inner work only. Not your person. Oh, my person's over there. To be a twin flame, you know, need to know about inner work. That's it. So she has it about how all about that. So please check out the choices. Because most of you, but yes, I do still leave the option. So if you book a tower reading, you do twin flame, you know about yourself, then you can book something else. That's what I'm stating. But if you choose to invest in all of the program, it's cheaper and you can get it on the installment plan. So hopefully this is good for you. If you are got my program and it's not progressing, you need to up it. If you're doing my work once a week, do it three, four times a week. If you're doing it three, four times a week, it's not working, you do it every day. If you're doing it every day, do it twice a day. Now, you might think it's obsessive. No, this is what happens when you up it. They will come to you and say, enough now, it's not working. Then you should invest in something else, like another program. That's it. That's what you have to do. It's not about twin flame. Everything on my website is guaranteed to get you with your person. You don't need anything more. Chakras, acupunctures, meditations, affirmations are only that an additional tool. Everything on my website can get you in union with self and only those with union with self gets union with their person. That's it. There are, see, they correct me, some that say manipulate their person from having a kid or getting married or something like that to keep them. But that's not union with themselves. I'm talking about proper union with themselves. So hopefully this has been good for you. And thanks for listening.